What is cracking, boys and my ladies? It's his rank creates, and today we go over how to get every single boss armor set in Elden Ring. Thankfully, getting every boss set in Elden Ring's location isn't hard at all. You just have to make your way to you have to make your way to the Round Table of Lost Grace and unlock the door to the Two Fingers to talk to Finger Reader Ina. Fingerita Ina is basically like the Ludlith of Elden Ringu. She can not only transport boss remembrances for their weapons and spells, but also you can purchase great arrows and, and all the different types of boss armor in the game. So this is where you're going to come after vanquishing your boss, but with all that being said, let's get into how to get everyone right now. The first armor set is Ranala. Renala is the queen of the full moon, and you can obtain her armor set by defeating her by making your way up to Rhea Lucaria. I have a video all about it, check it out, it'll be in the Elden Ring playlist. And Renala's armor is pretty cool. Although it doesn't enhance your spell using qualities, it still is a pretty cool armor set, and if you want to look like Renala the full moon and do a build based off of her, it is perfect. Star Scourge Radon set. Radon set is one you see a lot of people using, it's probably one of the fan favorites, and it's no reason or surprise to see why. It's absolutely marvelous. From its menacing look to its huge bright red plume that reminds me of a certain somebody from another game, its epic looking cape with all that design on it, and the front with its gold plating is just a magnificent armor set and it's eye candy. Overall, it's no wonder why this set is loved by many, and of course, for its high defense, of course, you are paying a bit in the weight category, but again, for all these macho armor sets, what do you expect? Plus, those two horns and the lion at the top of the helmet looks just fantastic. It's not as much of overkill as some would say about Ornstein, which is the real vibe I'm getting here, but it's like they mixed Ornstein and Smoke together a bit. Hmm, maybe I could be wrong. You defeat Star Scourge Radon over in the Caleb region. I recommend doing Ronnie's side quest if you're gonna go and at that. And I have a video of that luckily for you up on the screen right now. But yes, that is Star Scourge Radon set. What a masterpiece indeed. Elium of the Briere. Elium of the Briere, I actually have a boss fight guide on him. I actually have a boss fight guide on pretty much every boss in this video, so go and check them out in the Elden Ring playlist. But Elium of Briere set is pretty cool. Honest to goodness, with all of those thorns around his armor, it kind of reminds me of Kirk. And with that reason, you'd think that at least would have some type of like maybe run into, roll into enemy, it'll damage them for like one tick. And that would have been really cool, but unfortunately, this armor set doesn't have that ability. And I think that would have been an awesome reference to Kirk. But nonetheless, it does have a pretty cool look. But overall, if besides Fashion Souls, it doesn't have the greatest defense bearing either, but still really cool to have. You fight Briere up in the Shaded Castle over in the western part of the Atlas Plateau. And, with that being said, the Veteran Set. Commander Niel, or is it Niel? I think it's Niel. Commander Niel set is pretty epic. Honest to goodness, I love the cape. I really like the design of it, and I think that the back looks absolutely menacing with the complement of the front. Overall, obviously, Commander Niel is a pretty tough boss. I have a video on how to beat him too, but... Overall, the set is magnificent. It definitely gives off the commander vibe. I like how it almost has like goat's horns in the front or like a ram. Man, that's awesome. <clears throat> and it does sport some pretty high defense with this armor set. So you would, so not only are you looking cool, but you're also getting some good defense, but of course at the cost of weight. Melikith set. You thought Blyde was the only one that had the Berserk references? You would be incorrect. Melikith's set is giving off very strong Berserk vibes, and it's no wonder why. He is absolutely incredible. He's like a com he's like, say, Vicar Amelia, but if she was mixed in with Berserk. Overall, a very epic looking armor set. I do think it looks better on the boss than on us personally. I don't know, the helmet's just giving something really off with the um, player look. I don't know what it is. It looks more like a bird than it should, but that's just my opinion. You get it from the Feeding Melikith. Over in the Azur area, the Azur Circle. I don't really remember what's called on the top of my head, but overall, once you defeat him, you will obtain this set. And it is a great one. Whether you consider him to be a real boss or not, it is all knowing Gideon. Although he's not a mandatory boss fight in the game, Gideon's set, especially his helmet, looks incredible. Upon you can obtain his armor set by defeating his boss battle right before you would fight. 
Godfrey. And it's one awesome set with all those eyes. He certainly is all knowing, just like a god. And if you have the ability and attributes to use a scepter, you can get a nice little boost off that too. I have a video all about how to beat Gideon. It'll be in my Elden Ring playlist, so make sure you check that out if you're struggling a bit. The Elden Lord set is yet another set you can obtain towards the end of the game. You obtain it for killing the true Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. And after you defeat him in the capital of Ash, after defeating Millicath, you're going to be able to obtain his set after his defeat. He's, it's a very cool armor set, and overall, when it comes to qualities or enhancements, it surprisingly bears none, but still cool nonetheless. Loretta set. Loretta, you fight. Loretta. In order to obtain Loretta set, you have to fight Loretta over in the Haggle Tree. She's near the bottom, right before you enter into the next area. I have a video on how to defeat her if you need it. But overall, her set looks absolutely beautiful. I really like how it has the Haggle Tree crest up at the top of her helmet, the blue regal cape that dreads from the behind, and also those thick curves at the hip plate just makes it just really good. And with those curves comes some pretty high defense, thankfully. But yeah, that's Loretta's armor. And last, but certainly not least, it is Melania. Glide would have been taking number one as my favorite armor set, but once I got Melania's, I just fell in love. Melania's armor set is obtained by defeating Melania, the Blade of Mequelia. She can be found in the Hagel Tree by making your way to Mequelia's Hagel Tree. I have a video on how to get to her from the Grand Lift of Rolled and even how to get access to the Grand Lift of Rolled and this Hagel Tree Medallion. All of it will be in my playlist down below, but oh my goodness, it's so good. You can hear me on stream just saying and praising how much I love this armor set. It is my favorite in the game and this armor set it just has everything I could have ever wanted. Defense wise, it isn't the greatest, sure, but definitely when it comes to its appearance, it is unbelievably good. But yeah, that is how to obtain every single boss armor set in Elden Ring. If you enjoyed or got by from today's content, make sure to be up to like on the video, always appreciated. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you guys get more Elden Ring content. And make sure to hit me up on your email list if you use your email daily for extra notification along with checking out my other socials as well. And you cannot forget to join the journey through the lines between by checking out the Elden Ring new playlist, which you'll find all of the information and power you need to get through the lands between and get all these cool armor sets for yourself by helping you get to the bosses and defeating them. But yes, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Rise, my fellow tarnished, and brandish thine Elden Ring.